Today, I'm going to teach you how to make the male vocoded sound in Calvin Harris's How Deep Is Your Love? And this is the sound that we're going to be producing. Hi there guys, it's John Holt here with The Audio Journey, helping make music production accessible to all. And here on this channel, what I do is beginner's tutorials that really help people get into music production and get a solid understanding of the basics from the ground up. So if you do happen to be new here, then certainly consider subscribing. So without further ado, let's jump into Logic Pro X, where I'm gonna show you how to make the male vocoded sound in, in the middle eight of Calvin Harris's song, How Deep Is Your Love? And this is gonna be particularly useful if you're an A-level music tech student and uh, you have to make this song for your coursework in the 2016 to 2017 spec. So I'm gonna talk you through how I made that vocoded sound using Logic's Evoc Vocoder Synth. Now, if you've ever listened to a Daft Punk track, then you've definitely heard its effect in action for sure. So if you're new to what a vocoder is, it's basically a synthesizer that plays when it's triggered by both audio and MIDI at the same time. And the thing to get your head around is the fact that you have to feed it audio as well as MIDI for it to make any sound. So the audio actually triggers the synth and the MIDI tells it what notes to play. So the first thing that you need to do to make this sound is record the vocal at the right tempo, uh, preferably with the right phrasing and roughly in the right key. Now this isn't absolutely essential because the MIDI notes tell the synth what note to play, but I'll explain a little bit later why it's worth getting as good a recording as possible. Then what you need to do is process the vocal as you would any other vocal. So what I've used is uh, a little bit of de-essing, a little bit of compression, EQ and delay. Next, you need to make two MIDI tracks like I've got just here. And on both tracks, you need to select the Evoc PS or Polyphonic Synth from the menu just here. Make sure that the synth is set to vocoder mode by selecting Voc from this menu just here. Then we need to select the audio that's going to be triggering the synth that we do this in the sidechain box just here. Now a vocoder is basically something called a formant filter, which is essentially several bandpass filters that you can control. And you can control the amount of bands just here. You could shift them around just here. And you can also stretch them out with this control just here. So next what you need to do is put your MIDI notes in. So these were the notes that I found got me the closest to the sound in the song. And that's a B and a G just there. And the reason that I've used two tracks of MIDI is I think there are sort of two different sounds um, to this vocoder. So I think there's a main sort of dominant chord here. But there's also a bit of variation on it. In that second half of the vocal. So if you mix those together, that's the sound you get. And when I had these both in the same MIDI clip, this section, the melody bit, was too loud. So what I've done is just made a separate track and dropped the volume down. Now the best place to start for this vocoded sound is the preset in the Vintage Vocoder menu called Five Band Rough Vocal. I found that got me closest straight away off the bat to the sound that's in the song. So that's the best preset to start with. Then it's just a case of tweaking the sound until you feel like it's as close to the song as you can get it. And lastly, make sure to mix a bit of the original vocal back in as it sounds like that's present in the track. So if you're doing this for your A-level, uh, it's really important for the accuracy when completing the coursework. 
and that's why I mentioned earlier that it's best to have a good vocal recording if possible, but it's not absolutely essential because it's going to be so low down in the mix and vocoded anyway. So guys, I hope this video has been useful to you. And if you've got any more questions, then feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. And if you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to leave it a like. It really does mean a lot to me. Now also make sure to share it with your classmates or your friends if you think that they'll get some value from it as well. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, this channel is all about helping beginners get into music production and get a really solid understanding of the basics from the offset. And in order to do that, I made a free video series and ebook called The Seven Key Elements of Music Production. Now that's a playlist on my channel, so feel free to head over and check that out. So if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, then the button is just up here. If you'd like to check out some of my other content, then that's just up here for you. Now, I've been John Holt with The Audio Journey, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.